welcome back to the Bristol Nature Channel. I'm Heather. Have you ever wondered why there are so many different feather colours? I mean, how do they make these colours in the first place? An old Native American story says that the first ever crow wore all the colours of the rainbow when all the other animals and birds were black. The crow felt left out. It wanted to look like everything else, so it shook its feathers as hard as possible and all the colour flew out and landed on the birds and animals until the only colour left on the crow was black. And that's why, to this day, all crows are black. Now, that's a really gorgeous story, but what's really going on? There's such a staggering diversity of feather colours, from the red breast of a robin to show how aggressive this little bird can be, to the blue-green iridescence of a peacock to attract a mate. Yeah! All these colours serve a biological purpose, but the colour itself is down to chemistry and physics. Most feather colours are thanks to pigments, which are applied to the feather as it grows out of the bird. Now, all birds naturally produce a pigment called melanins, which gives rise to the wonderful sandy brown colours, all the way to the deep velvety black of a crow. But birds also use a pigment called carotenoids. And this is the same thing that makes carrots orange, so you guessed it, they give rise to the yellows, the oranges and the reds. But birds can't naturally produce carotenoids, they have to get it from their diet. So birds have to be acutely aware of what they're eating to make sure they get enough of this pigment to stay as brightly coloured as possible. So birds have something that we call nutritional wisdom. But some colours are harder to make than others. Birds can't naturally produce a blue pigment. And in fact, out of all the vertebrates on Earth, only two species of fish are known to naturally produce one. So animals have had to evolve to harness the power of light, and birds have achieved this by changing their feather structure so that they only reflect blue light. But what about green? Here, birds have had to be a little bit clever. We all know that if you mix yellow and blue together, you get green. But birds don't have a <laughs> birds don't have a blue pigment to mix with the yellow. But what they can do is mix their blue feather structure with their yellow pigment to produce this colour. Iridescence, like on a peacock feather or the neck of a pigeon, is achieved in a slightly different way. It does use structural changes, but the changes in the feather acts like a prism. It bends the light, so refracts it, but also splits the light up into rich colour components. And if you change the angle that you look at it, you'll be able to see the colours, and at other angles, you won't. There's always more to something than meets the eye. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to click subscribe and see you next time. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!